studio gave to me seven swans a swimming six geese a laying five gold rings four crawling birds three french hens two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree lee and jeremy want to wish you all a happy holidays and a wonderful new year Hello everyone! Hi. Happy holidays and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I am Elf Lee. And I'm Elf Jeremy. Yes you are. <laughs> and this is The Seventh Paw of Christmas. What? Another bird inspired paw. We've got a lot of birds up until this point but this one is seven swans a swimming. Yes. Through the lakes and that's where we've taken some of our inspiration. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so let me tell you a little bit about what's going on today. Okay. I chose the colours for this one. I chose seven colours mm -hmm. for the seven swans. We're both going to be do using number sevens in our paws, but we'll tell you about that as we get to it. But these are blues, they're copper, and they're white. Mm. Because it's the swan and the water. That's kind of where we drew our inspiration. It's going to be pretty. I'm really excited. What, what are you going to do in this paw? I'm going to be doing a very interesting, like, puddle pour type uh -huh. kind of thing, but we'll see where that leads. Yeah, you want to mix it up, like, dirty as I well do. as I do. I want to pour it a little bit dirty on okay. the canvas, right. so, yeah, we'll see what happens with okay. that. Okay, I'm excited. That's, that's something you've never <laughs> done before. Um, I'm going to do seven flip cups on my canvas to represent the swans, mm. so that's where we're going with the rule of sevens. Yeah. I'm excited. If you've been watching us so far and you've seen the other six episodes of this season, thank you so much. But if this is the first one you're watching, go back and check the other days. And we've got another four more coming up after this one too. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for watching us on the premieres too at five o'clock every day um, all the way up until Christmas Day. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate that and it yeah. superbly helps the channel. Yeah. So we thank you. Um, I want to get into this. I know, let's do it. I'm really excited. So we are going to pour. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Elf Lee here. Welcome to my interpretation of Seven Swans of Swimming. Um, what I have and what you see before you is an edge gallery wrapped canvas that Jeremy has very kindly put tape on the back and put pins in for me. That's his job. And uh, this is a 15 by 30. We love this size canvas. Yes. It's been a little while since we worked on one like this. Mm -hmm. One and a half inch deep, so it's gallery wrapped. And then my interpretation of seven swans swimming is seven colours and seven flip cups. And the colours that we've chosen between us that we're both going to use are the Prussian Blue by Goldens, which Very we nice. love. It is the Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex Basics, which is a really awesome colour. We've got the Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam, and then the Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam, and then the Iridescent Pearl by Goldens. So if you're counting, that is five. We then have pearl marmalade. We wanted copper, but we realized we'd run out of it. So we took pearl marmalade and we added in some of the Arteza gold. And we got this really awesome copper color, which looks really cool. So that was our copper. And then for my last blue, I mixed turquoise green and manganese blue phalo together to get a blue turquoise or like a blue teal. And that is this one. So, my interpretation of Seven Swan Swimming here is five different types of blue, a white and a copper, to look like the white bird, copper is for the beak, and then the blue is for the water. Because mm. they're swimming. So I'm going to get to layering these seven flip cups. I'm going to flip them onto this big canvas. 
I'm going to do this one first over here, and Jeremy um, will. I'm going to film one, and then I'll f I'll fill the others up really quickly. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start off by putting a thicker layer of the blue. Oh, and I should say that the Prussian blue, I actually added some titanium white to it so as not to make it quite so dark. And then I'm gonna layer the colors on top. Almost like you do, Jeremy, when you do your marbling. Mm. So there's my first blue. Here's my second blue. In with the homemade teal blue. Next in with the homemade copper color, the pearl marmalade and the gold. Our last blue. And then some pearl white. Okay, so that's one cup down. I'm now gonna do the same with the other cups. But you don't need to sit here and watch that because that'll be boring. But I'm gonna cut the out and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so I have done exactly the same layering in each of my now seven cups for the seven swans. Next, I'm gonna flip all these cups onto the canvas. Now this is a dry canvas, I have not flooded it, but I intend to go around it with a flow extender where I need to. So um, I'm now gonna flip these cups onto the canvas. So let's do that first. And I'm moving the one next to it so I don't make quite so much of a mess. No, oh, maybe I won't need to. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move these down just a little tad. Okay, now I'm gonna let these sit. So I didn't fill this nine ounce cup it is, um, up to the very, very top. So I'm gonna leave these for a good couple of minutes, let that paint come all the way down to the bottom of the cup so that I'm not leaving any residue in the cup as I flip them and drag them. So that's my plan. I'm gonna speed you up and I'll see you back here in five minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's been five full minutes. So I'm now going to reveal the paints within the flip cups. So this is the drag. Let's do it and start over in this, court, this side right here. So now we've got seven swans swimming on the canvas. Now I'm gonna take my blue flow extender. This is all of the leftover paints that I had within my pots before I put it into my little nine ounce tubs. And there's some white in here. And this has been watered down. So the consistency of my paints in the pots was approximately 50% flow troll, 20% um, Liquitex gloss medium and 30% paint. Um, it is a, it's a thick mix, but I really wanted it that way. Um, the flow extender is the same, but probably just with another 20% water added. Now, now I'm going to torch. I see lots of bubbles. Just a line of flow extender just at the back. You won't see any of this blue by the time I've tilted it off, but I'm gonna put it there just to help. And I'm going to flip this canvas around because I'm gonna walk the 
paint from the top down to the bottom and I've definitely got most of my paint here in this kind of top third. So ladies and gentlemen, it is what we like to call here at Matty Art Studio, tilting time. Let us do this. Um, first of all, I'm gonna walk this to the back without trying to tilt any of this off if I can, if I can help it. If the tiniest amount goes off, then it is okay. But it is not my intention to lose a lot of paint. Okay, now let's walk this down to the front. Now we've got the paint down to the far end. I'm now I'm going to add some flow extender here because what I don't want to happen is I don't really want these paints rolling over at the top of each other. I want them rolling over this flow extender. And this is really just leftover paints. So the flow extender is, in this instance, dispendable. Okay, let's continue to take this down. I really want to get this edge further down the canvas because it's got a little ways to go. So let's try and take this edge down. Is covered on all sides. Now let's take this back to itself. Let's get the paint down to the bottom of this canvas. Now we should start to see some of the cells opening up. Got it? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I've got enough paint to do one thing. And I don't know if I can manage this, but I would love to get rid of that little squiggle at the edge and just take this oh, straight yeah. down if possible. I like the squiggle. Can you see if it's moving, Jeremy? It's not. It's not moving. Not at all? Not at all. Well, lucky days for you, Jeremy. Look at that. Okay, 
I am genuinely really, really happy with this. I know by now you guys can always hear in me um, when I don't love something, because I'll never say I love it when I don't. It's really hard for me to be dishonest in that way. I love this. Um, I am a Cancerian, so I love blue. I love the blues in it. I can already see a lot of cells popping through on this. I know as it sits, it's gonna probably sell even more. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm gonna get all my edges, just to make sure that I didn't miss anything in my tilt. And then I'm gonna get cameraman elf Jeremy to take you in for a close up. Thanks guys, I hope you love it as much as I do. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, woo! And uh, I'm so excited about this. I loved Lee's pour, um, it was amazing. I'm hoping that I have some beautiful results like that. Well, you've got beautiful colors, yes. so I'm very confident yes. you will do too. Well, thank you. And um, so, yeah, I got all the same colors as you. Uh -huh. um, Lee has me very blue today. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. I'm gonna be doing a, not a puddle pour, but a dirty puddle-ish pour. Right. We can just call it a dirty drop pour. How about that? I have that? no clue what you're doing. You seem to know what you're doing, yes. but I think we might have to name this one at the end because I don't know if yes. this is something that anyone's done before. I'm gonna call this the dirty Texan. There you go. <laughs> I think that's perfect. I like that okay. idea. But can you, can you just explain to me what the plan is? Yes, I'm going to pour paint uh -huh. on top of each other. Okay. But I'm going to pour it kind of from a height, a higher height up. Got it. So that way it actually mixes a little bit before I stretch so it. So the element, there is an element of the puddle pour in yes. there, but you're going to do it dirty instead yes. of trying to layer it. Yes. Okay, got it. All right. That's I'm called excited. the dirty Texan. The dirty Texan. And you're doing seven of these bad boys. I am I doing seven it. of these cups. Yes. There you go. Okay, go for it. I think I'm done. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. So now I know there is a question. Yes. On everyone's mind. Yes. To wreck or not to wreck? Oh, that's a great question. That's exactly what Shakespeare said. That's a great question. Um, you know what? I think I might use the, if I wreck it, I think I'm going to use the chopstick and just do a light wreck. So let me grab that. Okay, okay, I got my chopstick here. With intention. I've seen people do this with their finger, so I like yeah. the idea of a chopstick rather than a comb. Yeah. You're gonna use the fat end or the thin end. Thin end. And are you going fast or are you going slow? Um, I hadn't thought about that. You need to, because it will be, make a difference. I'm gonna go fast. Then do it. Well, I learned a little lesson there, so.
So now it's a ninja swipe. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I think I need to wreck this a little bit more. All right. Let's see where this goes. So I know his, everybody's screaming right now. You can see his right face now. at home. He's like <laughs> smiling away here. <laughs> Everybody at home is like, what are you doing? Well, you know how much I love to wreck the rings. I, right? <laughs> I love doing, I love taking chances. I live on the edge. All right. Let's take it down. It's tilting time. I'm done. I, I agree. I think it's beautiful. I think Thank you've you. got some really interesting color mixes. The white, the dark, the primary blue, the primary blue into the copper. I think it's Thank really you. stunning. Thank you. Would you like to clean up your edges? and? I would. And then we'll take them in for a close up. I am. I, I'm loving this. I don't want to get any paint dripped on it, but I, I am loving this. It looks like an electrical storm over like Arizona. There you go. I love it. Okay, let's clean up your edges, take them in for a close sure. up. Let's yeah, do let's it. do it.
All right, guys, there you have it. Um, just absolutely loved these colors. Right. Um, I really like the effects that we got. Lee, I'm in love with yours. I like you. Uh, there's a couple of things that we want to show you that are in the pictures that we discovered. Which I bet people watching the premiere were shouting out, I can see, because sometimes people do say that. So yes, So we've definitely yes. seen a couple of things this time. Right? Yes. So do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first to show them the dried results? Uh, yeah, no, I, I'll show them the dried results, but I just wanted to remind everyone that we chose those swan light -like Colors, yes. The blues for the water, the yes. whites, you know, that's kind of the, the way we were going. Yeah, with the copper and everything. I did seven flip cups, as you just saw, and this is my dry piece. Um, I really love the shine that we got from the Liquitec, Liquitex gloss medium, and also those pearlescent paints that I chose. Yeah. And what we've noticed potentially in this piece is a little swan's neck right here. A little swan coming to say hello. <laughs> as he's swimming with his six buddies. So this is mine. Really shiny, really watery, very subtle, lots of movement in this one. Seven flip cups. Tried to keep this one as straight as I could. So that was my piece. Yeah, which is absolutely beautiful. And in stark contrast. Yes, yeah, stark contrast. It's so interesting how you can use the same colors but get so very different, different results. Yeah. results. Crazy. So this was mine. Right. Oops, here we go like this. That's perfect. Yes. So this is so interesting. It just, I, you know what? I really like this a lot, but I like a lot of chaos in my paintings, right. honestly. And I just, I'm loving the coppers and the blues. Uh, it just, yeah, it just seems to follow my eye everywhere I go. And I can really I point like out something? Yeah. So as I was talking to Mina Villegas and sent him a picture of your piece, I noticed a little swan just sitting right here, just in the water. So there's a little swan right here. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, who's that swan so to cute. swim in? Maybe we're like so making cute. it there. You know, it's one of those things that we really wanted <laughs> to be seen. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you see that little swan right there? I um, think it's right there. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so that's mine. That was really awesome. That was really awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good times, that. good yeah. times. Yeah, good times. So, there you have it, the dried results, our little swans in there. And uh, I just want to say, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Please. And it keeps us going and excited and pumped. Um, keeps us wearing silly hats and <laughs> wanting to do even more. You are now seventh of the way through the series. Yeah. We're just five more days to go. So yeah. that means it's now five days till Christmas too, which yes. is very exciting. Yes. So we have the eighth day tomorrow it is yeah. yes so eight maids of milking right yes <laughs> i had to sing it in my head real quick i was like Arr. eight maids of milking right yeah so eight maids of milking and i uh, can't wait to see all you guys there and that's about it for me what we'll do you think Lee? yeah that's is there it. anything else no that's it we'll see you at the premiere <laughs> at five o'clock for the eight maids of milking <laughs> Bye right. guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. See you then. Okay guys, so we wanted to take a moment to thank some very, very special people and that's the guys that have joined our Patreon account. What that is, if you don't know, is the opportunity to join at different tiered levels to get different perks from the Massey Art Studio. And they go from sneak peek pictures to a level with videos exclusively just for those pourers yep. to live streams and tutorials all the way up to the diamond level where you get to choose the colors for an episode that we yeah. put on YouTube. And then you get a canvas that we paint for you on the channel on 11 yes. by 14. So with that said, we've got some people that we really want to thank. At the gold level, we've got Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. Mm. At our platinum level, We've got Leslie Beaver. Yay! And our diamond pourer, part of our Massey Posse, our diamond MP, is Laurie, aka Sparkles. So thank you guys for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio and supporting us. We appreciate you so very much.